We went with the Nilchik Charters in Kodiak, Alaska, and this is an inexpensive self-guided deer hunt where you can also oh, fish, yeah. hunt ducks, set crab traps, and just generally have a blast. Good luck, boys. Have fun. Be an we adventure on Kodiak. Yeah, we're well, we headed out to do some deer hunting. Me and Michelle paired up, and the two older boys, Jeb and Seth, paired up. Trent decided to stay on the boat with Captain Garrett, and he was going to do some fishing and duck hunting himself. I've got a shotgun for bear protection and my bow for a deer. But to show you what it's like walking through this stuff and what it's been like walking since we left the shore, well, we'll just start walking. Well, the country is super thick, and after running into a brown bear on our first deer hunt, we decided to all make sure we were carrying backup weapons. Well, you can see in this thick country, we're stumbling onto a sow with cubs, a bear on a kill, or just a bear with a bad attitude could be deadly. Found the boys glassing. They're up there on the top of that ridge. So they made a good hike. Me and mom went over this way. They went up top. They're heading toward that big mountain. We'll see what happens. No shots, no shots yet. It's good to see two brothers hunting that hard together. Well, meanwhile, I'm sitting on a deer trail. I've got Michelle right behind me with a video camera. I've got my Hoyt Story recurve and a buck comes walking right to me. At 15 yards, this buck turned down another trail and I could just not find a hold of the vitals in the thick brush. Super close, super exciting, but it just didn't happen. Everybody hears the stories about the giant brown bears. Of course, we just saw one the other day that when it smelled us came to us. That's when you're walking through this grass and these alders up over your heads. Or you can only see 20 yards. That even though I'm bow hunting today, I have a shotgun with me. So that is a giant bear track. That's five, six, seven, probably eight inches wide. And look at this hind foot. Hind foot goes from right here all the way up. Here's the toes. But what's impressive about these brown bears is look at how far from the toe the claw is right here. Pretty cool. Big track. And that's why we carry a little protection and stay ready when you uh, when you get up in that super tall grass they call home. Well, although we didn't harvest anything the first day, we headed back to the boat to get some good food, get some sleep, so we could head out the next morning for some more adventures. Well, the family's gonna do some salmon fishing, maybe some duck hunting, and uh, they're gonna see what else they can get into. I am taking off back on the island to go see if I can find a sickle blacktail for me, for moi. Ah. So Pop has gone out after deer. Seth and I are going to do one of our favorites, so bird Seth hunting. Yeah. <laughs> Transter! You going to fish salmon with mom? Dad's deer hunting, brothers are duck hunting, and what are we going to do? We're going to go catch some Solomon. Solomon? Solomon. All right. Better get up and get your waders on. Okay. All right. Alaska has some incredible duck hunting. It also has some incredible ducks that we're not used to seeing, like Old Squaw, Harlequin, Barrow's Golden Eye, Scoters, just beautiful ducks that you don't usually see in a lot of other places.
near it. Oh, that's beautiful. But good shot. <laughs> Inside, kill him. Yes! Great! Oh, great! While the boys are duck hunting and Michelle and Trent are fishing, I am trying to self-video myself on a deer hunt using my recurve. Not so easy to do. Well, I had quite a few stalks where after setting up the camera, I would grab the Montana decoy and try and slip up on the deer. Well, it didn't really work out that great, and it was pretty difficult to self-fill. It's like every time I see a deer, it's like, quick, set up the camera. And I set up the camera, and then I try and face it toward where I think the deer's gonna be. And of course, it's never, never there. Well, my camera was having issues. I couldn't get it to focus. It was super rainy that morning but I spotted a beautiful buck on the beach directly below me. I knew the deer was gonna head up to bed down. All I had to do was wait for him to make a move. I set up perfectly, had the Montana decoy in front of me, set up the camera, looking right over my shoulder, and I thought it was gonna be perfect. Instead of coming out where I thought the deer would, on a trail that was in front of me, the deer comes right over the cliff, right on top of me. I managed to turn and shoot the deer, but as you can see, self-filming, well, doesn't always work out that well. Although my self-filming didn't work out very well, I was still pretty excited when I looked down and finally spotted the deer where he had rolled back down to the beach where I had originally spotted him. Got a deer, got a deer. Freaked out, couldn't find him. He ran off the cliff. I don't think I hit him great. I hit him a little bit farther back and high than I wanted. He came right up on top of me. I think the Montana decoy helped out a bunch because it kept that deer standing there long enough for me to turn and make the shot. There's a beautiful sickle blacktail I shot on Kodiak with my Hoyt recurve this morning. Uh, I got dropped off in the dark. The kids decided to go fishing with mom. I decided to come back to the island and uh, do some more deer hunting. Michelle shot a beautiful buck with a rifle yesterday. I've made multiple stocks, came so close on so many deer. This is the third different deer I put a stock on this morning. Ends up, it's actually the biggest one. He came right up over on top of me, up above this cliff, set up for him to come down the trail. I had to decoy out, had to turn it when he came around, and he stood there and just looked at me. Right on top of me, right on top of the ridge. Pretty awesome hunt. So beautiful. We're here with the Nilchik Charters. They're taking us fishing, dropping us off to do some hunting. We are having an absolute blast, and we have had some adventures, huh? Yeah. Fantastic. 